This video is your ultimate Rolex watch models collection guide. Let me explain how you can differentiate different Rolex models collections and I will share their price details as always. I promise you, you will become a Rolex expert after this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know your favorite Rolex watch. Let's start with the most classic and iconic Rolex that also carries the founding legacy Oyster Perpetual. Besides the same characteristics as other Rolex watches, how do I know it's an Oyster Perpetual watch? The watch has to have the signature Rolex Oyster bracelet, the waterproof Oyster case. Oyster Perpetual doesn't have any other type of bracelet, only the Oyster bracelet. Oyster Perpetual only has the smooth dumb bezel. Another easy way that you can tell is the dial always says Rolex Oyster Perpetual and also nothing else below the Oyster Perpetual as well. Compared to a lot of other Rolex watches, you will realize the beauty of the simplicity as I show you other models in a bit. Oyster Perpetual has size from 28 millimeter to 41 millimeter. It usually has a dial in either subtle or vibrant colors like the black and blue dial. Popular ones are like the Tiffany blue dial and the green dial. It is a popular watch in the classic line of Rolex watches and its price also way more affordable than other classic watches. The price range is usually around the five six thousand dollars like this 41 millimeter Oyster Perpetual and the signature green dial is six thousand four hundred dollars. This year Rolex also has this new and super fun turquoise blue celebration motif dial is also six thousand four hundred dollars. If you are looking for the most classic the entry level best price versus what you get ratio, I personally think Oyster Perpetual is the best candidate. Along the classic lines, Rolex Datejust is another classic Rolex was created in 1945. How do I know it's a Datejust and not an Oyster Perpetual? Datejust was the first self-winding waterproof chronometer wrist watch to display a date in the window at 3 o'clock on the dial and that's how the name started. The Cyclops lens was added to magnifying the date for easy reading while Oyster Perpetual doesn't have a date window. With the timeless design functions and rich history, they just is a watch icon. It's the most recognizable Rolex watch. Another obvious difference between a day just and an Oyster Perpetual is the words in the dial. Right below the Oyster Perpetual, it also says day just while the Oyster Perpetual only has the wording Oyster Perpetual. So the day just is available in 31 millimeter, 36 millimeter, and 41 millimeter. Since the 20th century, Rolex started the ladies day just, which is also available in the size 28 millimeter. Each version comes with crazy large selection of dial in different colors, finishes, and materials. The bezels are available in the smooth dome bezel, fluted bezel, domed diamond set, and diamond bezels. Depending on the version, the Datejust is fitted with a Jubilee Oyster President bracelet. Support and a comfortable, the Phi-Link Jubilee bracelet was specially designed for the launch of the Oyster Perpetual Day just in 1945. The particularly robust Oyster bracelet has broad, flat three links and remain the most universal bracelet in the Oyster Perpetual collection. The prestigious President bracelet and its three semi-circular link is exclusively available on the 18K Gold version of the Day just 31. Price point of the Day just can range from something simple $7,000 for a 31 millimeter Oyster Steel Datejust to something like a Datejust 31 with yellow gold and a diamond bezel Mother of Pearl dial set with diamonds for $44,200. Mother of Pearl dial is slightly more expensive than other dial just like my Datejust 36. Talking about another classic line of watches is called the Day Day in Rolex. How do I know it's a Day Day but not a Day Just? Day Day was the first self-winding waterproof chronometer wrist watch to not only display the date like the Day Just but also display the day of the week in two separate windows. Both windows changes simultaneously at midnight. This revolution switch continued to fascinate since 1956. Day Just only has the date 
of the month at the 3 o'clock while day day not only has the date of the month but also has the day of the week as well. What's more special is that day day speaks its wearer's language meaning the day is also written not only in English but also in Chinese like Shinchiji or Japanese gets yobi for Monday. Just like the name, the watch is also in the president bracelet, which immediately recognizable. This solid 18k gold or platinum bracelet provides completely reliability and comfort. The president bracelet is also fitted with a concealed crown clasp, open with a hinged Rolex crown, which is different from other bracelets. Some of you may know that Day Day is also known as the president watch. The reason is because Day Day is a watch has been favored and worn by different presidents in history. It's a watch dedicated for people who dedicate their life to the accomplishment of their ideas. It is the watch of prestige and excellence so that you kind of know the price point starts really high since it doesn't have any oyster steel option at all. Day Day is available in size 36 millimeter and 40 millimeter. For a plain dial Day Day in 36 millimeter yellow gold with the President bracelet is $35,000. To price upon request pieces like this diamond dial, diamond bezel day day in size 40 millimeter. After all, it's a President watch that has been worn by a lot of successful people, so the price point is definitely way higher than Oyster Perpetual and Datejust in the classic line. Now let's move on to the professional watches of Rolex. And let's start with my favorite one, Rolex GMT Master. Two. Designed to show time in two different time zones simultaneously, the GMT Master launched in 1955 was originally developed as a navigation instrument for professionals crisscross the globe for people who love traveling. The GMT Master 2 was unveiled in 1982 with a new movement to make sure it's really easy to use. How do you know it's a GMT Master 2? Something GMT Master 2 have but not other watches are the emblematic two colors bi-directional rotatable bezel. The bezel also has 24-hour display. There are other professional watches in Rolex also has cool bezel but it's either the time is different or the color scheme combo is different or it's not bi-directional rotatable. The other easy way you can differentiate it's a GMT Master 2 is on the dial it also says GMT Master 2. The watch is available in oyster steel, two tones, yellow gold, white gold, and rose gold. My personal favorite which are also the hardest to, to get are the stainless steel and two tone ones. They all have really fun names. The green and black ceramic bezel in left-handed GMT Master Master 2 is called Sprite. The red and blue bezel is called Pepsi. The blue and black is called Batgirl with the Jubilee bracelet and Batman with the Oyster bracelet. My two-tone Ever Rose Gold with Oyster bracelet is called Rubia. It's available in 40 millimeter. My two-tone Rubia now is $16,150 while the Ever Rose Gold version is $40,600. Next, let's talk about another exciting one, the Daytona. Introduced in 1963, Daytona was designed to meet the demands of professional racing drivers and it's the ultimate tool for people who with a passion for driving and speed. How do you know it's a Daytona? It's the only watch the chronograph function is activated by three pushers that screw down like the winding crown when they are not in use. Other Rolex watches only has one winding crown on the side. The other different difference is that you will see there are three small sub dial inside of the dial where you can measure elapsed the time displayed in hours, minutes, and seconds. Price wise, the stainless steel Daytona with the wide dial aka Panda is the most affordable one and also the most difficult one to get. It's $15,100. The sun dust and a bright black dial in Ever Rose Gold is $42,500 and it's also in the 40 millimeter size. Another popular sports watch model is the Sea Dweller. The Sea Dweller and the Deep Sea are ultra resist divers watch with waterproof to a depth of 4,000 feet. How do you know it's a Sea Dweller? It's usually in the 43 millimeter, which is bigger than most of the other Rolex professional watches. The second difference is it has a 60 minute graduated unidirectional rotatable bezel, enable divers to safely monitor their 
dive and decompression times versus the GMT bezel is 24 hours in a bi-directional. The other thing you can tell is the dial says C Dweller. The deep sea in the C Dweller line is slightly bigger and it's in the 44 millimeter. The deep sea challenge is even bigger and it's in the 50 millimeter. The oyster steel C Dweller in intense black is $13,250. This oyster deep sea in 44 millimeter is $14,460. The 15mm Deep Sea Challenge is $25,950. Just like the Sea Dweller is for divers, there's another watch to keep track of the time across the world, which is the Sky Dweller. The Sky Dweller is usually in the 42 millimeter. It shows your local time zone in the main dial. The second time zone can be displayed via the off central sub dial. How do you know it's a Sky Dweller? Besides the off central sub dial and the inverted red triangle, the dial also says Sky Dweller too. This oyster and a white gold sky dweller is $15,900. The yellow gold and oyster flex bracelet sky dweller is $41,050. The next watch is the Submarina. Launched in 1953, the Submarina was the first diver's wristwatch, waterproof to a depth of 300 meters, which is 1,000 feet, provides the highest precise movement with optimal protection from water, dust, pressure, and shocks. How do you know it's a Submarina? It has a unidirectional rotatable bezel that engraved with 16-minute graduation allows a diver to monitor diving time and decompression stops accurately and safely. The dial also says it's Submarina. It mainly has two models. One is Submarina and the other one is the Submarina Day. And the Submarina only has one model which is the 41 millimeter in the black dial with the oyster bracelet and it's currently retail for $9,100. While the Submarina Day has a date at the 3 o'clock comes in not only oyster steel but also yellow gold, white gold, etc. For example, this royal blue submarina date in yellow gold and 41 millimeter is $39,000. The next one is the Yacht Master. It is the watch of the open seas. The Yacht Mask models embodies the spirit of the sailor. How do you know it's a Yacht Master? The easiest way to recognize is the 60-minute graduated bidirectional rotatable bezel. The dial also says Yacht Master. Yacht Master comes in 37 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 42 millimeter. This classic Yacht Master in 40 millimeter oyster bracelet is $12,300. Yacht Master 2 is bigger, which is in the 44 millimeter. This oyster steel one has the Yaw Master 2 name on the bezel and this blue round sub dial inside and the oyster bracelet. This one is $18,700. The next watch is the Rolex Air King. It pays tribute to the pioneers of flight and the oysters rose in the epic story of aviation. With its 40 millimeter case in oyster steel, solid link oyster bracelet, the distinctive black dial, the Air King perpetuate the aeronautical heritage of the original Rolex oyster. How do you know it's an Air King? Besides the dial has the Air King name, it also features a distinctive black dial with a combination of large 3, 6, 9 numericals marking the hours and a prominent number scale for navigational time readings. The Air King in 40mm and Oyster Steel is $7,450. The next watch is the Rolex Explorer. It is really the call of the peaks. The Oyster Perpetual Explorer evolved from Rolex deep involvement with exploration. These watches go where few people venture. It's available in mainly two models, Explorer and the Explorer 2. The Explorer is available in 36mm and 40mm. The 40mm Oyster Steel Explorer is $7,700. The 42mm Millimeter Explore 2 in Oyster Steel is $9,650. You can see the bezel is different and it has the 24-hour display which allows people to distinguish the hour of the day from hours of the night. The dial also says Explore 2 as well. 
The next watch is 1908, which is the art of watchmaking. How do I know it's a 1908? Since Rolex starts a new chapter to create a deep slender and a sleek watch style, this one is thinner than other Rolex watches. The dial has 3, 9, 12 numerals together with a small second hand at 6 o'clock. The bezel is also a combo of the domed and fluted bezel, which is different from other models. 1908 comes with brown or black alligator leather strap and its inner lining is in the green color, which is truly a tribute to Rolex signature color. Another special part is that it has a sci-fi case back that reveals the movement through a transparent case. The 1908 are all available in the 39mm either in 18K yellow gold or white gold. This 18K yellow gold brown alligator leather strap is $22,000. Leave me a comment to let me know your favorite Rolex models. Definitely stay tuned for my Rolex buying guide and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!